Hey guys, uh, let's play Super Monkey Ball 2 here with Clayman Dude 25. So, last time we did the first few levels of World 7. Oh my gosh, this is exactly halfway. Last time I did one too many. So, there is a halfway. I thought there was more levels. I can't count, okay? So, instead of flock, alright? Let's do it. Let's do it. So I have no idea how hard this one is. So basically, pretty simple, I guess. Uh, oh yeah, he just stick on the right platform. This one wastes a lot of time because you're constantly jumping. And it's also quite dangerous because you can easily fall off, especially if you don't know where the next platform is, which is right there. Could have made that. I didn't go for it though. and die like that. So, this one's kind of challenging, and, uh, well, this whole world is kind of challenging. I think I've stated that before. Oh, ah, crap. Ah, crap! Crapperoni. And, uh, aha, aha. I think it's below me. Oh, yes, it is. Oh man, that was a close one. Alright, one more. There we go. Well, not there we go as in get the goal. There we go as in last platform. Oh, there we go. That's the there we go goal. So, so time consuming. And uh, double spiral. This one, this one is like super intimidating. Especially if you get the wrong one. All you have to do is basically choose a platform and uh, follow it to the end. And there's like two choices for each one. And uh, you can fall off really easily. But if you just like time it right and you go slow, not fast enough. Oh yeah, there we go. I just hope I chose the right side. Uh, there's 50-50 shot that I chose wrong. Oh, I picked poorly. No. All right, so I wait. I go there as fast as I can, and then I choose the next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. Next one. All right, here we go. There we go. Slowly now. Huh. All right, slowly. So yeah, no, I think I got it. I should have. Got, I should get it now. What? Oh, you have to go on the inside. Dang it! I thought you could go on top and you'd get a perfectly good, perfectly good uh, one. Yeah, I guess you have to go on the inside. Well, now I definitely hope I chose right because now there's. I think there's still a 50/50 shot. It looks as though I got it. Sweet. Pretty easy, pretty easy. Uh, it can be pretty darn intimidating. All right, uh, hierarchy. Here we go. Uh, dreading this one. There's two in this level that I really dread, and this is the first one. Oh, uh, this one is pretty darn difficult, actually. You know, you start off, go through the hole, you know, and land on the next platform. But they get really complicated. There's like a perfect trick to do it. And uh, watch me totally get it first try. Nope. There's like a really sweet trick you can do. Oh, let me. Just, I'll try just once. If you like, go off at the right time, you can get a few in. Oh. I've seen people do that and get the very bottom one, but I like just doing it the normal way since it's easy and you can still get the time bonus pretty easily. It's just about landing in the hole. Or landing outside the hole, actually. Try to hit a corner on that last one. All the other ones are kind of easy, but the last one is pretty damn hard. And if you're really hardcore, you can skip a few at a time. Or, you know, you can fail. So, 
talk about all the deaths, but I have like a death counter on screen. Total deaths so far. Five or ten or whatever. Hey, maybe that would get me on my lazy ass as far as editing. Got it. Goal. It's a lot more tricky than it looks. That took me forever to master. It's kind of weird that this is all coming back to me. I used to really do bear. Which one is this? Oh, that one's a. A good laud. This one's easy. This is. I think this is another hold forward. Methinks. Yes, there's a play button behind me, but I think this is just a hold forward. Yep, it is. I did not stop holding forward. Pretty easy. And I got all the bananas, too. Here we go. Eight bracelets. That is a full-on every banana. And it is justly deserving of it. Oh, whew. this one is going to kill me. But hey, once we're done with here, we get to move on, so... Here we go. What you do is you just kind of watch. You use the momentum to jump from ring to ring, and then ring to ring. But the thing is, if you hit it not good enough, you don't have enough momentum and you die. You have to keep lots of momentum. I usually start on the left side and go right. Both sides are exactly the same, so my preference just because this is the way I always go. I remember there was like a really hardcore trick you could do to this one. It's the last one too. The last one is the hardest. Of course, you know you get it like most of the way and then, oh, you fell off. Haha. <laughs> Loser. because you, like, are anticipating it. Because it, like, gives you all the correct directions, and you have to go the opposite direction. And so you go right, which is the correct way to go. Left. Left. Ah, I didn't even have enough. Because I was trying to say left and right. I'll go to the right side this time. I don't think it matters which side you go on. You can be on the very end, and then, uh... And yes, you can gain momentum throughout the ring, so if you lose a little bit, don't worry about it. Yes! Oh my gosh! Red goal, seriously? Awesome! Wow, I'm happy, because that is one of my most hated levels. Eight bracelets. And I got the red goal, so now I feel accomplished. So, cutscene time. Wishy-washy. Okay, everybody. <laughs> wow, I'm just... Wow, I never noticed this. Wow, okay. So, a really refreshing bath, which we were invading on. And we're in your clothes. So, he just tried to, like, eat me me last time, and now he's like, Oh, I'll, I'll go look for her again, even though I tried to brutally murder her. And this is, and this is, how do they do this? They're inside balls, and they try to, like, tickle him. How's that possible? I cannot tickle when I have, like, this plastic ball outside of me that is, like, impenetrable and can be smacked, like, a hundred miles an hour against a brick wall and it won't break. So, maybe they use EE Poo. This is the most pathetic story ever. And it's so Japanese. Look at that. Look at how Japanese that is. This is not an American game. Turn you back. No, oh my gosh. Stop shooting that everywhere. Amazing. And he actually keeps to his word. That's pretty awesome. Now they're like super sized, they can just crush him. He's a genius, right? <laughs> this Dr. Baboon really has some serious problems. Infatuation with the enemy and, uh,. Dying of tickling, which is impossible. And he just helps the good guys. And he runs away, you know, and he helps them, and he pretends like he's bad. I know it's for kids, but I mean, they could make a more serious story. But. Wow, that was a weird run. He's getting away. It's not like we can fly 100 miles an hour. Let's roll slowly. 
Oh man. Oh man. The factory. So that was an awesome stop. Get away this time. Yes, you can, because I still have a few more worlds to go. They aren't complete, no. Saying, come on, robots, take them all out. Third right coming on here. Wow. That is totally the chicken walk. Nazis. They're blue. They're blue Nazis. All these robots look just like yeah. Except the fact that they have like blue heads. I mean if their heads were the same color as yours, then they'd make sense. Oh yay! Creek, creek, squeak. Let us cooperate. Yeah, yeah. Woo. Magical spell. That second one didn't even rhyme. Alright, here we go. Next world. Now we're in. Every single one in this world is challenging. Let's see. Are there any that don't get less or are there any that get less than two bananas? Ah, that one does. And probably not, that one's pretty hard. So they're all pretty difficult. So uh this one can be done several different ways. You can carefully uh, walk around the side on the skeleton, which is the best way to go. You just have to know which pistons are going to go next, because they will knock you off if they hit you. You have to like time it perfectly. Or you can freaking uh, do this. I haven't tried this and been very successful ever, but land here and uh, move up to the goal. Dang it. That's why it's better to go on the skeleton, because it's really hard to aim that stuff. And if you land on one of the pistons, which is impossible. Alright, good. I got lots of space to go. Yeah. Or you could be dead center and not have to worry about uh, the pistons knocking you over. Didn't have a shot there. Hmm. Messed up. Ugh. There's got to be a better way to go. I'll start on the right side and go left. There you go. Frig. That was so close. To ah, I got it. You go super fast. Dang it. Oh, I might have been able to salvage that one. So, I don't know. But every time you get hit by a piston, it doesn't have to be a death, but it usually is. Aha, there we go. There we go. Regal. I like how you have to put a little bit of force on the thing. If you don't put enough force, it won't give it to you. Here is a very easy one, actually. Soft cream. All you gotta do is hit play and uh, move very, very slowly. But with enough force to actually get on. So, uh, pretty dang difficult to uh, do so. Mm, there you go, and then you just follow it. It's just like the top of that uh, one I was trying to do, but this is actually a little bit more fidgety. A little bit, only a little bit. Oh, yeah, there we go. It's like a try, not so bad. You just have to remember to do that initial oomph onto the beginning of it, otherwise it'll just fall right off. 